How's the girlfriend? I want to see Debbie. Why, Ali? Tell you need time to make a decision. Too late because she's already made it for you. Now you look a bit confused. Well, let me explain. You're a cheat, and she doesn't want anything else to do with you. Where is she? She's gone away for a few weeks. Can you pass on a message? Yeah, I'll just get a pen for you. I did leave a message for you, though. Do one, and don't come back. Yeah, OK. All right. When you do talk to her, can you just... I'm say... not going to tell her anything. As far as she's concerned, your history. Just sorry. That's all. Now, by rights, I should do you some damage. Make your trip worthwhile. But I'm feeling generous. So when you get in your car and drive off. She wakes up then. Yeah. Okay, bye. Oh, oh no, no, hang on. She's on her back, isn't she? Right, well, keep watching her just in case she rolls over. Bye. <laughs> Hello, stranger. Hey. Usual? Yes, please. Why don't we go and sit with Katie? Yeah, I'll bring them all. Paddy, you play cricket. I used to play rounders at school. Right. That'll do. That will do. Could I have a word? How do you have a crush, you know, if you find out? I thought we agreed you're staying out. I am, I'm just saying that's all. Would you like some lunch? I'd better not. Natasha's got spies everywhere. She'll be reporting back on me being in here. Katie is not a spy, and everyone's entitled to a lunch break. Mm. Will you stop staring at him, Charles? I know. Paddy's so happy to be home. He thinks everything's all right. Yeah, well, you've got over the worst of it now, haven't you? And if he's happy, then... I thought I could do it. I thought I could lie to him and keep on lying, but I don't know if I can. What? Well, it's one thing to lie to him on the phone, isn't it? But when I, when I saw his little face... You, uh, feeling any better? A bit. Flying all right? Yeah, he's over there now. Brute? Oh, no, thanks. He's, uh... Just turned up at the garage, that Michael. But it's all right. He's on his way, so don't worry. Did you hit him? Well, gave him a little tap. That's what he wanted, isn't it? Surprised he dare show his face. I wasn't. What did he say? Sorry. I told him you'd gone away for a few weeks. Good. Hey, don't worry, he won't show up again. And if he does, there's ways of sorting him. I can take care of myself. If he does show up, then bring it on. Yeah, right. I just don't want you landing yourself inside again. He's not supposed to the police over this, is he? He wouldn't want his girlfriend finding out. Keep on running. Oh, that was subtle, darling. Oh, dear, was it? I'll have to try harder next time. No, just ignore her. I'm just glad Will's got a guinea pig and not a bunny rabbit. Oh, for pity's sake, she's not a bunny boiler. Can't you just get an injunction or something? Just stay away from them, OK? OK. Mwah. I still think she must have a screw loose to have followed you here. How's it going? All right. Good trip. 
Yeah, it was brilliant actually, yeah. There was a session there on joint replacement surgery that was worth going for in its own. You had to be there and be a vet. <laughs> Good to be home though. I bet. How's uh, Chas? She's great. I wish she'd come with me now. It's a cracking hotel. It's one of these hotels that has the yeah, snack. Yeah, you must, you must have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. Steak tonight, bottle of wine. Glad it went well for you. Lazy? No, Blue is more like. Apparently she tried to buy this place once with Daddy's money. You've got to give her credit for that. Yeah. Hey, don't be getting any ideas, you. Ah. Oh. We'll have to cancel the deposit on that thousand acre sheep ranch then, shall I? <laughs> she came in late, baby practically strapped to her back like she's working in a rice field. Caused a right mess and her mum's letting her work from home. High maintenance. It's Jimmy I feel sorry for. I'm taking a legitimate lunch break. You might want to note down the time. Oh, yeah, I will, and then I'll file it under N for not remotely interested. <laughs> For me. Chaz, Chaz, what are you doing? Carl! Oh, here we go. Just leave them to it, come on. Oi! What did you say to him? Nothing. Why? Uh, Where do I stand then? Uh, Out here alone, where you go back in there like nothing's happened? Not now. This isn't over, Chaz. And you know it. And that look just proves it. You know, when are you going to tell him? Tonight? Over a, a bottle of red, a couple of juicy steaks. Perfect. Now you've got a shirt now, so you've got to play. What are you doing? What did he say? Nothing. Shh. Oh, Ooh, what you got there? Got myself on the church cricket team. <laughs> right, I'll go grab a table outside then, shall I? Yes, boss. I'll just see if your mum can take a break and join us for ten minutes. All right. Do you want to see the menu? Oh, no, thanks, Dan. Could you um, give Moira a call? You can nip through the kitchen, if you like, and rescue her. Marlon's probably boring her rigid about the specials. <laughs> oh, uh, can I have a tonic water, please? Ice and a slice? Uh, no ice, thanks. And a sour grape. Sorry, lemon. Thank you. Make it go flat. Like your sad, empty little life. Thanks. Well, that's a large one if you're interested. 